Hello folks, this is Shardul Govinde. So now we are starting with practical number four, which is programs related to different layouts. So we will start with very simple layout, which is a linear layout. So I have here an image which shows a linear layout. So this green color are nothing but our child components, which we place in our GUI part of our Android, which is nothing but the .xml file. So linear layout or any layout comes in .xml file. So if I want to put my child elements or in a horizontal manner or horizontal view, I would go for linear layout horizontal. If I want to place them vertically, which are nothing but my buttons, my text view, then my plain text or edit text, I wanted to place them vertically on my design view of Android, then I would use linear layout and more its orientation would be vertical. So now let's jump into our Android Studio and let's check how this works. So your by default layout is constraint layout. So I'll remove this constraint layout from here and I'll type linear layout. Okay, so in the design under design under component tree, you can see linear layout. So now under this linear layout, I'll drag and drop a button. So over here a button and I'll take one more button and drag and drop it under this main button over here okay so this are the two buttons which you can see and so here in the image we had seen horizontal and vertical right but i haven't yet specified the orientation of my linear layout so it might come as a viber question for you if i don't specify the orientation of my linear layout as into vertical or horizontal then by default it will take which orientation so the answer is it would take horizontal orientation right even here also you can see it linear layout into bracket horizontal so by default it will go for horizontal now let's uh, change it and make it to vertical so over here in the linear layout android colon orientation the property is orientation horizontal and vertical so by default it was horizontal horizontal so let us change it to vertical over here so now that we have taken android colon vert orientation as vertical let's check what happens and over here you can see that button one and button two they are vertically assigned but this they are taking a lot of height so let's keep a linear layer okay so here it is match parent so let's write it as wrap content and over here also wrap content and let us check again okay so now it is fine so these are vertically assigned now so what i'll do is now i want so every component child component whatever i would place it would come one below the another because the orientation is set to vertical but now i want some of the components to be placed in a horizontal manner so what shall i do so let's try it out so i'll remove this thing button over here or uh, let let us keep only one button and remove this button so instead of this i want a plain text or our edit text so i would drag and drop plain text over here below this linear layout and now what i want to do is i want the edit text and button to be horizontally viewed so what i would do is i would take one more linear layout under my parent linear layout so linear layout uh, width and height let us keep as wrap content and this closing of linear layout would be after this uh, end of this button okay since i am placing linear layout under this parent linear layout and i would keep orientation of this linear layout which i have put over here as android colon orientation to horizontal so linear layout under linear layout so first linear layout had an orientation of vertical then i took one more linear layout whose orientation is set to horizontal and under that I have this edit text and button. So if I check over here in the design, so you got to see name, edit text and button are horizontally, are in a horizontal view, right? 
now let's try to add some more one more edit text and if i take it over here you can check under this linear layout we have a button and edit text so again i'll take a edit text over here which is plain text and drag and drop over the main linear layout if i'm not wrong it is okay it is still coming under this so let's remove from here and put it over here in the main linear layout so we have put the edit text uh, uh, in the main linear layout and let's check where does it come so it has come below it, it has come in a vertical format right which is below the main uh, edit text so now let us uh, yeah let us adjust the width of this first name so i don't want name as text over here so i will remove the name text as name from here and i want a hint over here as i would say search or let's put it in strings folder strings.xml over here create a new string name as search and uh, again here search okay so i'll use that string search and even for the button i won't don't want this text as button so i would write it as okay the text is equal to android colon text is equal to string search and is it reflecting yes search so this hint allows the user to know what kind of input it should give over here and let's uh, increase the width of this edit text so it was match parent i would keep it to let's give it as 200 check it okay it is too small let's give 300 and yeah it is fine i want some space between the edit text and search button so for search button i would give the attribute as android colon layout underscore margin left i'll give 10 dp so there is some space okay and i i don't even want this edit text and search to be uh, stick to this up, uh, app bar so let's give margin top to both of them or to this linear layout if at all we can give let's check android colon margin top 20 dp and is it yes so in spite of giving to edit text and button i gave it margin top to this linear layout and you can see the search has come slightly to, to the down of our app bar which is 20 dp i have kept name again over here if i want to change don't want to give this name i can change it ems is nothing but the font size of this text fine so similarly you can go go on adding two three text view buttons image views one below the other other if i drag and drop an image view from here you will have you can see it image view under this main linear layout okay so it has come in a vertical format since the orientation is vertical so you can adjust this linear this view and keep it to as you can give gravity as center if i want it at the bottom so i can give it to the bottom okay so center horizontal or bottom so it is already in the center since it is width is match parent i don't want width as match parent we'll keep as wrap content okay and it's right okay so even here also you can adjust the properties so since it is everything is wrap content over here wrap content wrap content so if you uh, so wrap content means basically we can uh, check that this linear layout ends it over ends over here only right so can put a colors to identify where exactly the linear parent layer linear layout is going so and background and color accent accent okay so this is my parent linear layout which ends over here so this if i set it to 
this image we would to bottom as a gravity so it would it is at bottom because the linear layout itself is as wrap printing if i do it as match height as match parent then probably you can see it going down right over here so, so everything would be according to the match parent so let's keep it as wrap printing and uh, this is how linear layout works vertically and horizontally okay so you can try it out so by second or third video we we might uh, make a gui with the help of linear layout and relative layout okay so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe